Mbolea kutoka kwa kinyesi cha kuku ni muhimu sana maana ina madini kama vile nitrogen, phosphorus na potassium. Kabla ya mbolea kutumika kwa mimea, kinyesi hiki huwekwa mahali kwa muda kupunguza makali kwa kuoza hadi kiwe mbolea. Tunapofikia tamati ya kipindi hiki, tunataka tukuletee mtaalamu ambaye anaelewa masuala ya ufugaji kuku. Je, ana usemi upi? So today we are at a farm uh, at Rostes. So today I was doing uh, the picking. I was carrying out uh, the picking process. And the birds are uh, uh, 1700 in number. There is no steroids in birds because uh, it's impossible to, in, uh, to inject hormones in birds because it will be even uh, expensive, it will be costly to keep on injecting uh, hormones in birds because you will have to do it daily. So what happens is usually the improvement in genetics. Like the broilers, for example, uh, they have been uh, improved in such a way that they grow very fast in such a short time. 35, uh, in 35 days, they are able to be slaughtered. When it comes to the hybrid layers, uh, they start laying very early at 18 to 20 weeks. So there is nothing like uh, steroids. That is not possible. It's just the improvement in genetics. Yeah, basically, the reason why we did big birds, one is to reduce uh, feather pecking, vent pecking, cannibalism. Uh, we also be big to reduce the uh, feed wastage, so that's another reason of uh, the picking. So once the birds are, are, are depicted, there will be no injuries to the birds and the feed will not be wasted. And then um, we usually start the picking at uh, 10 to 12 weeks, that's the time we will be big. We do it early to prevent cases of uh, too much bleeding. Because when you do it late, the blood vessels uh, are very well distributed in the beak and they will bleed a lot. So the earlier, the better. Of course, there is a new trend because the technology has really improved the chicken rearing. For example, uh, use of uh, cages, battery cages. Because uh, in, this, in the battery cage system, uh, we ensure that uh, even a farmer with a small space will be able to rear so many birds in a small space. And uh, there's, uh, it's not, it's not uh, uh, laborious, so it reduces uh, labor. So you'll find out that uh, a farmer only needs a few workers if you have the battery feed system. Egg collection is uh, very easy, and even uh, when you are giving them feeds and water, that is automatic, it becomes easy. So that's one of the improvements. Instead of depending on uh, too much of a dependence on uh, government jobs, because jobs have become scarce, uh, uh, a, farmer, uh, a, young, a young man out there, if there is a space maybe in the compound, he can keep a few chickens, because uh, chicken multiply very fast. Um, uh, they are not very expensive. To come start with uh, maybe two hens and one cockerel, and then uh, after five months, six months, they start laying, uh, you, will, um, you, you will buy a small incubator which will multiply the chicks. So in a year's time you find out that a person who started with two chicken will end up being with a hundred chicks or a hundred chicken. So chicken rearing is easy. So that is one way of, uh, of, of self-employment. Yeah, but uh, before you start chicken rearing, of course first seek out for markets. That is the most important thing. And then secondly, you have to have the capital. Be, uh, have enough capital. Because without capital, for sure, you won't be able to feed those birds. Because for, uh, they feed a lot. Yeah, yeah. OK, basically, when we are debicking, the machine itself uh, uses a hot blade. It's an electrical debicker. It has a hot blade. That hot blade is the one which cuts the beak, and it seals the wound. When, the, uh, beaks, uh, when there's bleeding in the beaks, the hot blade will seal the wound because it's uh, around 200, 300 degrees. It seals the wound, so there's no too much bleeding. Yes. 
Wanasema kwamba kila kilicho na mwanzo lazima kiwe na mwisho. Katika makala ya leo tumedadavua masuala kadhaa. Ufugaji wa kuku, teknolojia muhimu, ukulima asilia. Je, mkulima ameongeza mazao? Hadi siku nyingine Mola Moliwa akiridhia tunasema asante sana kwa kukaa nasi kwenye boresha kilimo. Mimi ni Laban Shaban, wasalamu.